coming soon from Big Finish Productions. Karnaki, the Ghost Finder. I should think I had watched for about an hour and a half, when, suddenly, I heard a faint noise away up the corridor. I was immediately conscious of a queer, prickling sensation about the back of my head, and my hands began to sweat a little. The following instant, the whole end of the passage flicked into sight in the abrupt glare of the flashlight. There came the succeeding darkness, and I peered nervously up the corridor, listening tensely and trying to find what lay beyond the faint glow of my dark lamp, which now seemed ridiculously dim by contrast with the tremendous blaze of the flash power. And then, as I stooped forward, staring and listening, there came the crashing thud of the door of the grey room. The sound seemed to fill the whole of the large corridor and go echoing hollowly through the house. I tell you, I felt horrible, as if my bones were water, simply beastly. Jove, how I did stare and how I listened. And then it came again. Thud. 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 And then a silence that was almost worse than the noise of the door. For I kept fancying that some awful thing was stealing upon me along the corridor. And then suddenly, my lamp was put out, and I could not see a yard before me. I realised all at once that I was doing a very silly thing sitting there, and I jumped up. Even as I did so, I thought I heard a sound in the passage and quite near me. I made one backward spring into my room and slammed and locked the door. I sat on my bed and stared at the door. I had my revolver in my hand, but it seemed an abominably useless thing. I felt that there was something on the other side of that door. For some unknown reason, I knew it was pressed up against the door and it was soft. That was just what I thought. Most extraordinary thing to think. Presently... I got hold of myself a bit and marked out a pentacle hurriedly with chalk on the polished floor. And there I sat in it almost until dawn. And all the time, away up the corridor, the door of the grey room thudded at solemn and horrid intervals. It was a miserable, brutal night. Big Finish. We love stories.